and welcome to Crypt Grinding that would suck the curve. Today I will be explaining to you how do we actually grind here and can we actually do it? The answer is yes. Do you need accuracy accessories here? Yes, you need at least one, one type. And since I'm an AP monkey, Zerker, I only use a Brontis bolt, which is equal to similarly like a tap down earring. So pretty much this is my stats. I'm having 872 accuracy, not fully buff. If I add advanced concentration is plus 12, should be 84 plus exquisite. And I activate file, it will add another 10. So the prerequisite of for the accuracy here is around 900. That's like the soft cap. That's like the soft cap. You will still miss some of your hit, but you can pretty much grind here with that amount of accuracy. You can also opt for using a full set of accuracy accessories. However, I don't have it, so I'll be using this this gear, this, this setup to grind here. Also, for the DP requirement for this place, as high as possible. The first time I tried it was around 380 DP, and I still can survive, because my class, Berserker, have high survivability. So, the buffs that we need are the LXC rotation. So here are the elixir rotation that we will be using. A strong griffon, strong shock, brutal carnage, defense, grim soul reaper, remarkable will, advanced concentration, sharp detection, lethal assassin, brutal death, brutal perforation, strong draining, endless frenzy, and lethal destruction. You can also opt for strong life as an extra elixir. But currently, I don't have mine in stock and I haven't made, made it like for months. I haven't been doing alchemy for months for it. And also, you need to pop, pop Calc Elixir for your resistance. And Exquisite Crown Mill. You can either choose this or simple. I choose this because it has accuracy. However, if you want to run simple, it's up to you. This place is... Eva evasion based place so you need those add-ons that give you tons of accuracy and evasion minus evasion so this is these are my crystals as you can see this is a pve crystal i don't include any whom or i nor i don't include also special evasion you need as much resistance as you can in this place they will knock you down they will fuck you up So I'm like in this place, in this in this location. So there are actually three locations for grinding and crypt. One is the circle rotation. That place, if you are grinding for two, for Debo Belt, I think that one that is one of the best grinding spot. However, if you are grinding for the ring piece, this is the best location. I will I will show you the rotation in a minute. Because uh, in here. They, they can spawn at least three Dark Knight in each location. However, in the circle rotation, there will be only one Dark Knight. As, so, as long as there are many Dark Knight, you can drop the ring pieces from them, not only from the mage. So, this is like a safe spot. So, if you go from Olun sides, there's like a gate. So the entrance is found near the Olun's Valley. So this is like the location. And that side is Olun Valley. And this place is a safe spot for your horses. You will see some of the mobs coming, but they will soon de aggro you because their aggro rage is. We are far. 
we are far compared to them. So I'll be grinding here, and repairing. So this is the skeletons. I know it might look clunky, but this is what I do in this place. You might you might see that I'm not using any critical hit rate in my predatory hunt because I want to further minus their evasion since this is a T3 add-on and I'll just put the critical rate on Raging Thunder, the spin for artifacts, I don't recommend using death blow in this place you can if you have many fan accuracy accessories actually want to try that sometimes in the future if I have the chance I will be using this exposed weakness it gives you accuracy plus 30 back attack damage however it reduces your DR in evasion in this place it doesn't matter if you stack DR or evasion you will die you will still die high chance you will still die so you just need to rotate try to rotate your frontal guard that's like the most important thing your SA your protections I frame whatever it is I'm using this so these are my stats 926 this is before sin before executed cornwall so if I activate this and I activate this this will be my accuracy and this sorry 963 this will be my accuracy I'll be using exquisite all these elixirs and cough don't forget the cough you need the resistance you need the resistance remember that so I'll show you the technique the proper technique of grinding here safely and if you need emergency heal you have your e-buff you have your prop of beast you have your person tyrant you have your spin and why do i take stampede compared to barrel rage because the rabam spin you you don't want to stand in one place in creep you don't want you don't want to stand in one place in creep because they will hit you fucking hard you want this thing stamp it you want to try to knock the mage down as fast as possible because the mage can either give an ap buff for all the mobs surrounding or dp buff for all the mobs surrounding yeah so enough for all that explanation so uh, let's try to grind here